Colin Bleach here. I figure I'd get us a video of us driving into the next town over. Uh, we're going to Tractor Supply to pick up some supplies. Um, <laughs> we just got stuck in the driveway. This other person got stuck too. Sheriff vehicle was there, a truck. Um, I didn't want to video that because uh, uh, the person might get mad or something. But um, yeah, he didn't shovel his driveway and just tried pulling out with it, so he did really well. Um, we got stuck in a patch of ice or driveway. It's nothing but a sheet of ice. They have these little uh, bumpy things on the road, see, so like you know, and, uh, I guess so you hear them, so you don't fall asleep at the wheel or something. It's really wet and and uh, the roads are kind of uh, greasy, but not too bad. And I'm not sure if there's black ice under this or what. Um, thank goodness I'm not driving. If it was me trying to get out of the driveway. I wanted to just. I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> uh, I was uh, swearing a bit and carrying on. I was trying to shovel, get us out. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoy last night's live, guys. And I tried to shovel that driveway. I didn't make the bank big enough, and we got stuck in the bank. It just looks really pretty through here with the snow, guys, and on the creek over there, the little creek bed or outlet. It's really pretty. I don't know if you can catch it there, guys. The, uh, the uh, sun is shining off of it. The snow is pretty, though, on the trees. I just don't much like it for shoveling and stuff, and it just doesn't look too good. See, that this looks really nice, that creek bed, kind of. Maybe take a dip in that later, guys. I'll make a video be like a polar bear, uh, uh, by a polar bear. Uh, I'll just, uh, I don't want this to drag on because we're not getting like a storm or something, but I just figure I'd show you some of the scenery around here. Uh, maybe you'll see a guy cursing and swearing in his driveway just like me trying to get out. Yeah, that's what it was. Sad. I'm turning into angry grandpa. I swear his uh, freaking ghost haunts me, guys. Uh, that's why I watched him because I kind of rage like that too sometimes. I don't show myself raging because I really... I don't want my channel to be about that, because what would, what would people think of me if I did that, guys? I mean, this just wouldn't be too good. I miss Angry Grandpa, it's sad, the whole thing is sad, and there's a lot of good YouTubers out there, that are, that, who knows, I hope I make my uh, mark for you guys, and you, something happens to me, I pass away, you'll still watch my videos. I don't plan on going anywhere, I don't drink or smoke. I mean, my, I could have done some damage to my heart, all the screaming I do. is ranting and raving, but you guys don't need to see that. Well, you've seen some of it one time in one video, I think. There was something where I was just... I think it was with the oven where I, when I did the oven element, I was swearing a bit because it was frustrating. My uh, heating element, my oven, because, um... Yeah, because, uh... I was like having an asthma attack while I was doing it and had to take the whole back off, guys. Yeah. Now our tires are bald from trying to get out. Not good. Uh, hopefully we can get around that spot where we got stuck. We just got to be careful we don't slide and hit our fence there, guys. Not good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm be buying any tools at Tractor Supply. There's like a... Uh, dollar store next to there I might get some wrenches or things. Those dollar store wrenches are great if you're not uh, careful. The little metal piece is splinter and get to your skin because I had that happen before. Maybe because I hit them with a hammer and stuff. I don't know. Use wrenches for things that they're not uh, supposed to be for. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm just hoping for spring. We got like two and a half months left of this stuff and if that uh if someone doesn't shoot that groundhog in the face, and we don't, I'm kidding, obviously, we get more winter or less winter, hopefully, but, I don't know, I think that's just something for kids, though, the groundhog thing, that, like, they get them in the weather and meteorology and stuff, probably, really. I mean, they got that Bill Murray movie, Groundhog Day, that was a riot back in the day. This looks really pretty. It's like 40 through here. God help people, I'll be driving someday in the summer. I gotta calm down a bit before I drive. Even Angry Grandpa was screaming sometimes and he was driving too, I believe. Why am I comparing myself to him? I mean, I'm a totally different person, but I don't know. I don't know too many angry people, and I try not to be so angry, guys. Hey, I'll just take a, a hammer or something, one of the snappers in the garage, and just totally rage out for a video and be 
uh, get a viral video though, but I love those uh, stamper riding mowers so much I probably won't do that. I mean, there's five of them in the garage. They have like a special place in my heart for me because my uncle had them when I was little and stuff. He mowed with them and stuff. And um, <laughs> my mother wanted to take a nap when I was little, like a baby or something. He'd go out there and start it and wake her up. He was just an ass. <laughs> And she hear the mower going or something, and I start crying or something. I was a baby. Ah, there's no mobile tracks through there, guys. Pretty cool. Yeah, we're taking uh, back roads and stuff to get there. That was pretty horrible. I put a lot of stress under my mother, too, when I was. We got stuck. Oh, look at the doggy playing in the snow. He looks so happy. Little black lab puppy out there with no leash. I hope people know what they're doing and it doesn't go on the road. I doubt invisible fencing would work in this weather with the snow. I'm not sure on that. There's some freaking birds up there. Yeah, but I uh, I take meds for my anger and it don't work all the time. Look at what they did with those telephone poles. That's pretty cool, guys. Uh, I believe Angry Grandpa was bipolar too. That's pretty cool over there too, guys. There's a lot of nice stuff around here. A lot of nice homes people uh, build here and stuff. I mean, when I get my license and stuff, if I gotta just hold under control, I'm gonna worry I'd be one of those road ragers or something. And, yeah, there's like road rage videos and from Russia and stuff like on YouTube, people climbing on cars and stuff and just pounding the shit out of the window and stuff or, or getting in the random fights and stuff. It's kind of funny. Russians don't really take any business and stuff. Uh, one, one thing I will say, I'm just upset about uh, Donald Trump's comments about uh, those uh, shithole countries. I don't... Honestly, I believe he's going to turn our country into a shithole one of these days, and maybe it already is, and I don't know. I I think Africa's beautiful. I, I think it's great. People in the Peace Corps, they go over there and help those poor people, and and it, it's like he has billions of dollars, and he doesn't care any about, about anyone but himself, and and this is just weird what he's saying and doing, and it's, it's just bothers the hell out of me, it depressed the hell out of me, because I'm not really racist, I make uh, jokes sometimes, but uh, I mean, there's all, I mean, we have to just uh, not judge each other, it's 2018, we just can't be a racist asshole to people, it's not right, this is just uh, really nice through here, he's uh, obviously denying he said it, but there's some Republicans that witnessed it that are coming out and say it, and they just, they're not that, they don't like that kind of language. Uh, he probably said it to be funny, but it really isn't. Who knows what's going on in his head, I certainly don't want to know. I would have liked Hillary, but she's pretty smart though, there's a nice repair shop there, it's kind of cool. I voted for Hillary hoping she would win. Oprah, Oprah's might run in 2020. Um, this uh, gay lifeguard kid I talked to at uh, the Y before, he's really cool, he's good with the kids. He said that Oprah should went run for president. She just might, and they were like joking on Entertainment Tonight that um, Tom Hanks was gonna be her vice president or something. Forrest Gump or something, it'd be funny. He'd be like, Oprah, I gotta pee or something. <laughs> It'd be funny. <laughs> Get up right in the meeting and pee. Because Tom Hanks got a bad prostate. I'm kidding. It just looks nice on the trees, though, guys. I'm sorry, the video kind of dragged on in a lot to say. I don't know if you saw that diesel truck with the stacks in there. That they drove by. It was really nice. My mom's kind of quiet. She's going to hit me later. Uh, she's gonna come in my room with a stun gun one of these days or a cattle prog and wake me up. Like one of those sticks that they shot the cattle with. I'm gonna let you go for a minute now. Maybe I'll film and track or supply or something if they don't catch me. Guys, we're back. My mother was just saying I was trying to rock the car back and forth to get off the ice. Um, and she's worried it would go into the car or something. <laughs> 
Another funny problem I have, like every time a condiment, like a bottle of ketchup or salad dressing or mustard fall out of the fridge, I go, I just say a little, I go, oh shit or something and yell because it fell. Maybe because it put my back in pain or something, I don't know. We got the staples there. We got the uh, BJ's Wholesale Club over there in the Panero Broad. I haven't had a BJ's Wholesale Club in a long time and... I don't know if, if you can go there and actually get a BJ or something. I don't. I think it's like a, a warehouse of food or something, guys. I don't think that has anything to do with the other thing I just said. There's a bunch of new cars over there. You think they want to uncover them, the snow on them, the sell them. Oh, let's look at this thing. It's, it's got uh, 10 pounds of snow on it, but it's good in the snow, as you can see, because it's been satin. Yeah. I'm waiting for the snow to just fall right off the car. Ooh, they got a new building over here. This is new. Look at all the little uh, new Chevy trucks over there in GMCs. Those things are nice. That one's nice, and that one's nice too. And so is that. Ooh, Spectrum's over there hooking up their cable. I think the Spectrum bought their car there, and they're working on it maybe. Look at all those snow-covered cars. That's just awesome. I hate to be the guy that has to go over there and just uncover them in the snow. Oh, look, gas is 29 cents. How awesome. That's cool. Yeah. All right. We're here. Not sure what I can film in here. I'm just gonna be careful. They can hear the beeping of the camera. There we are. Tractor Supply in the truck store. There's Morgan Dubin Insurance. They got the Dubins. Got the Doobie Insurance. A little country market there, guys. We got big lots. We got the movie plaques. There's uh, the dollar store next to the big lots. They, this is all pat down snow, guys. Oh, there's a big ass truck by the dumpsters. Look at the piles of snow they got. Oh my god, what if we get stuck here? We're gonna have to get some tires for this thing. We got one brand new good tire on there. Some uh, rabbit cages over there and a little trimmer thing for weed eater. Alright, we're here. Let's see what I can trouble I can get into. What they want for spark plugs here, guys? You can get them for like two bucks at Walmart. Oh, I told you. That's what I need, guys. One of these. Send me one free, guys. Send me one. Send me one. I'll do an open box. Little. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. That'll set my garage on fire. Nice to put junk in, but they just break right apart. Oh, look, there's my new mower. Oh, yeah. These are cute, guys. That dog on the leash is just hanging there. These are like the tires I got on the Macy, guys. Let's look at all these freaking tires. Too expensive, cheap. Some car drift. That's what I need, guys. I need all this stuff. It's all mine. Check out these little rabbit houses or chicken coops. Aren't they cool? You see them there? This is, you got like a little greeting box for them. Is there anybody in there? Just receipts and garbage. Someone sat in their drinks there. Funny size guys, it's a one. What's a one? Well, it's some more of these. Sword in the stone. Whoops. How'd I think Mandela effect, guys? And cooking with MMs and just hanging out at the dollar store. Epic flights. Ooh. Ooh, look at all the crossword puzzles. Yeah. Fast entries, fun cupcakes, envelopes. Envelopes, cheap envelopes. I love this thing. It's like a penguin sword. How awesome. Or a duck sword. It's the Aflac duck sword. The kushas and stuff. It's a Mr. Universe hero. And pirates. And ninja super wrestling figures. All the way up to there. Got a lot of toys in this dollar store, which is cool. Little lizard things, oh my god, they're scary looking. Oh, what the hell is this thing? I have no idea what that's supposed to do. Oh, those look like something else, I can't say. Choose your imagination, they're Star Wars. Little baby lifesaver things. There's a farm animal. There's more of them down there, little ball things. 
a nice little store. There's a off-brand Barbies. They're called uh, Sophie's. Sophie's. Jeez, brand stuff. I'm surprised they have that. Off-brand brand stuff. I didn't sell. It's that penguin sword again. Little boas. Oh, they got the mermaid. Oh, look, rainbow pair of ponies. There we go. Oh, brand my little ponies. Those are cute. Hi, right, guys. Here's our dollar store haul. We got, you can see that planters, Villanilla Labina. There it goes. <laughs> Good idea to do this in the car. Uh, planters, Villanilla Labina, cashews. Good idea to distract someone when they're driving with food. What else did we get here? Hold on, guys. Put that back in the bag. Should be doing this on my bed instead of a. Uh, or on a table or something. Oh, um, let's see. Oh yeah, first day. Got a new hat too, guys. It's uh, it's uh, kind of tight. Yeah, where's this coloring book thing you got? Got one of those adult coloring books. Really nice. Might be good for a friend's kid or something. I think I'm just gonna give this as a gift. It's really cool. What's fun about these is you don't have to color in them and you can use like a copy machine and print a bunch of copies. This is really pretty though. I might keep this myself and color in it. I have to get some uh, good pencils or something to draw on it. I just love it. Isn't it nice guys? Kind of hard to put back in the bag. We're driving. Alright, oh god, she's gonna kill me and block in her way. Got uh, five bags of these flips, white fudge pretzels. I haven't had these in years. I, I didn't even think they made flips anymore. I used to get them when I was a lot younger, but they're still around. Five bags of these things. She got me some uh, socks too. I think those are her socks or mine, I don't know for sure. I'm gonna open up a bag of these flips and eat them. Oh, the towels, okay. Oh, there were socks. Apparently, where I come from, you wear towels and socks. Damn, this thing is tight, this hat. It's probably meant for like a kid or something, but I'll wear it. And I'll uh, stretch out after a while. Let's get these things open, guys. I don't know. Yeah. This one made out of it won't open. We got those cashew nuts too. We'll probably eat those later. I'll eat the whole bag of these. Why not? Oh, they look so good. I might save one of these for my snack on Saturday. So I don't have to eat. Oh, I still got pretzels left, which is bad. I don't know if I should have opened these. I got the pretzels. Oh, my mother's got her hand out. She's wiggling it. All you can see is her hand. She don't want to be on camera. There's the Star Wars stickers, guys. They're really good. Let's get a bite of it. Oh yeah. Little ATV store over there. They're so good. Those are limited edition or something. Wish I got more of them, but five's enough. What were they, like a dollar each? That's pretty good for those. They're really expensive. I love that old farmhouse. That's what I would have if I was rich and I cram a bunch of lawnmowers and tractors in there, guys. Really nice. Even got this just a little house, like a little old farmhouse. It's cute. This be a fun help to slide down on a slot. Um, I'm gonna let you go. I think this is good enough. Oh my god, we're gonna get cream by a truck. Ah! But I'm gonna let you guys go. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, ding the little bell thing so you can see more updates from me. And I'm actually calm now and I'm not screaming and raging. <laughs> Hopefully we can get back in the driveway, okay? But I'll let you guys go. Please comment and subscribe. I don't know why I added that. I'm calm now. I don't know. I'm just being funny.
But you guys take care. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment, subscribe for more, and hopefully the snow will disappear sometime, and we'll get back in the uh, garage working on stuff again. Bye, guys. Love yous. Uh oh, there's a bunch of stuff falling. Peace. See ya.